Previously on Game of Thrones. You'd help the Second Sons. Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. No, I'm, uh, I'm a friend. Don't move. This is my sister, Sylvie. I have to get in there, Sarah. Lord Whitehill is up to something. He's conspiring against my family, and someone in there is helping him. Andros is hiring sellswords. Hundreds of them. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Talia, I may be leaving you here with a traitor. Find out who it is. Rodri! I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. I was just telling your sister. Father's been looking to make a match for me. And Talia's been such good company. Think she likes me? Or maybe your mother? Her flower plot is still a flower. Just dies more quickly. We could be a family, Lord Forrester. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'll never marry either of them. Never's such an awfully long time. But let's put our happy day to the side for a moment. Walk with me. Oh. <sighs> you won't need your sword. Not where we're going. I'm not going without my sword. I'm afraid you are. Here, I'll help you. <laughs> there. <sighs> Doesn't that feel better? Oh, you're coming too. This is Lord's business, not a child's. I say she comes. I don't trust her with my men. How fares your father, Lord Bolton? Better than yours. <laughs> Polite of you to ask. I loved playing in the woods when I was your age. Still do. So many places to hide. I've gotten very good at finding people. Roderick? It's all right, Talia. That reminds me. Where's Griff? I expected to be greeted by him on my arrival. Bit of a disappointment to have to show myself in. And here I had such high hopes for Ludson. Griff and his men are under guard. They have no place here. They do, if I say they do. Oh, I really hoped things might be different with you. I hoped we could be friends. After all, I was generous. I've allowed you to keep half your forest. Your livelihood. Yet you went behind my back and called in the Glenmores. I'm not sure how you managed that. 
The Glenmores have sworn their loyalty to my father. The Glenmores came to us. We never asked for their help. Oh? Perhaps I need to have a word with Lord Glenmore. Well, I'm certainly glad we've sorted this out. Thank you for being so forthcoming. But there's still a price. Ah. Here we are. Arthur! Roderick! You disobeyed me. You disrespected me. Someone has to pay! You didn't think it would be you, did you? Your damaged goods. Someone else's leftovers. No one has to pay. Let's just keep talking. I'm bored of talking. <laughs> no! Stop! <laughs> Look at what you've done. I hope it was worth it. Is it worth it, Arthur? Please, stop! <laughs> please, please! Talia, don't look away. No! It's very important you see what comes of disobedience. Roderick, make him stop! Please, do something! You'll pay for this, Ramsey! Look at him, Talia. See what your brother's done. Please, please, Lord Ramsey. Sorry, but they'll never learn otherwise. Mercy, have mercy! Mercy, my lord! Did Roderick show mercy to Griff? This is his fault. That's a lot of blood. I'll see you dead for this! And that, Talia, is why no one likes your brother. Poor lads fainted. Let's give him a minute. <laughs> you want to kill me, don't you? Release him. Go on. Prove how strong you are. Do it for Ethan. No, Roderick. He's toying with you. Do it. Come on, Roderick. I'm impressed. Woo. Lucky for me, you're a cripple. I may have misjudged you, Roderick. I came here to kill you. But now, I'm thinking it might be far more entertaining to watch you and Lud tear each other to pieces. I never want to come back to this fucking shit stain of a hold fast. I have better things to do than to play wet nurse to you and Lud. So you'll settle this on your own. Last house standing wins. Otherwise I'll kill you both and be done with it. House Forester will win this fight. You're very confident for a man with no army and half a face. And one more thing. <laughs> No! Can't leave a job half finished. No! Ah, ready the horses. Not sure you'll have much luck finding other allies.
Strafe. I'm so sorry. I keep asking myself what we've done to deserve such hate. Did we bring it on ourselves? Or is this house just cursed? This is my fault. If I hadn't agreed to Elena's plan... You didn't do this, my lord. Blame Ramsay, blame Lud, blame the gods if you have to. But don't blame yourself. The Glenmore Guard are gone. Ordered home by Ramsay. So much for having allies. Ramsay says he's not taking sides anymore. He means to let the strongest house survive. I intend that to be us, Duncan. But can we even fight them? We don't have the numbers. We don't yet have Ryan back. And if Mir is right about an army from the south... We'll worry about that after we get Ryan back. Once we've made the trade, then we can start to... Where is he? Where is my brother? My lady. My lady. Let me through! Elena. Roderick, tell me where he... Oh! No. No. Oh, no. No! Arthur, no! Arthur! It's my fault. I brought him into this. I asked him to help. He did this for me. You can't blame yourself, Elena. He was a grown man. He made his own choices. But he trusted me. He always has. I was there the day he learned to hold a bow. He was so nervous, the father called him Quiver. And now, to die, like this, tortured, mutilated. He died as he lived, bravely, as a man of the North. He died in agony and for nothing. Look at him, Roderick. There's hardly anything left of him. Elena. I'm sorry. Get you someplace warm. Well. How do I do this, Roderick? How do I keep going? Where do I find the strength? You've been such a friend to me, Roderick, right from the very beginning. I should try to get some sleep. I'm not sure I'll be able to. But I don't know what else to do. You're not alone, Elena. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Thank you, Roger. you are. I haven't seen you since the coronation feast. How many ships do you suppose it takes to move an army? Ships? Why in the world would you... Never mind. Mira, I'll be honest. I took an enormous risk, defying Marjorie to get you into that feast, and you thanked me by making a scene with Lord Andros in front of everybody. Marjorie saw, of course, and she knew exactly how you got there. I'm sorry about that. I, I really did try to be discreet. But you couldn't, could you? Because you're in over your head. I know it. And Marjorie knows it. Which is why it's not safe for me to be around you anymore. What? Mira, 
You're not the girl I knew at High Garden. She'd never be so reckless. And now that Garibald and I are discussing marriage, I just can't risk being associated with you. Not anymore. You know how much I need this marriage. I won't do anything to jeopardize it. If you abandon me, who'll be there when you need someone? I don't know. Garibald, I suppose. I'm sorry, Mira. I truly am. Was it worth it, at least? Sacrificing so much for your family? Of course it was worth it. They're my family. And they're very lucky to have you. to go before she sees me. She will be a forester. Can I help you? You need to come with me. Now. Why would I? Don't make this difficult. I thought you'd be happier. I'm glad he's dead. Felt good plunging the knife in at least. But... It doesn't feel like I expected. I thought I'd feel lighter. Or something. Is that your way of saying thank you? It's the best you're going to get. Oh, we should never have come here. This city... It only holds pain for me, Asha. I was hoping to bury it all with Dezor's corpse. I can't imagine what it must have been like. Please, I don't want to talk about it again. Asher, you're back. <laughs> Uncle. Let's collect our second sons and get out of here. If you did as you were told, Daenerys should deliver. Daenerys, huh? First names with the Queen now, are we? Your Grace, my nephew has returned from his mission. It seems you played your part in the taking of Marine, Asher Forrester. Did you run into any trouble? Reports from the battle are muddled. Perhaps you can clear them up. Well, my time is short. I assure you, he means no disrespect. I don't have patience for arrogant sellswords. I heard rumors of an incident in the city. Do you know anything about it? Your Grace, we encountered the slave master, Dizorzo Raza, on the way to the signal tower. I regret that he lost his life. Oh, don't fucking... You admit it, then? The punishment for defying a queen is death. And yet you come to me for a reward. Why should I let this pass? Don't you dare. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't. I'm waiting. Because Beska was Dizor's slave. For years. Damn you, Asher. She deserved her revenge as much as any slave in Marine. You have my sympathies. Keep your pity, Dragon Queen. Give us soldiers and we'll be gone. I apologize for her, Your Grace. It's all right, Malcolm. I do not hold it against her or you. You have proved yourselves in battle. And while you disobeyed my orders, you had good reason. Unfortunately, I cannot spare my second sons. What? But Your Grace, the mission was a success. I need every soldier to hold Marine. What did I tell you? She was never going to help us. You promised me Croft and his second sons. Which is why I'm not going to let you leave here empty-handed. I cannot give you my cell swords, 
But I will give you the next best thing. This gold will be of use. Perhaps you can find the swords you need in Marine. Apologies, Your Grace. But we need fighters now, not gold. Gold can buy many things. A sellsword like you should understand that. A new day is born in Marine. The slaves have thrown off their collars. There are fighters among those who used to be bound. On behalf of the Foresters and the Branfields, I thank you. See that you are ready when I return to Westeros. I have other plans for you, Malcolm. Plans for me, Your Grace? Plans that will help House Forrester, I hope. I would like you to stay and serve me. I have a task for you. Your Grace, I... I am humbled. But I owe my allegiance to my family. And they will be grateful for the Targaryen alliance you've helped forge. I am honored you would ask me. Might I discuss it with my nephew first? Do so. But let me know your answer soon. You'd seriously consider staying in Essos? I'm not sure. This is all rather sudden. If she does come to Westeros, we'd want Daenerys Targaryen on our side. You've made a good start with her. I could strengthen that bond. It's worth thinking about, you have to admit. You'd abandon us with the White Hills at our doors. We need every sword. What's a sword to a dragon? Just think what this alliance might mean for your house. But whatever comes of this, we still need men who will fight for us now. The Queen thought we might find them here, among the newly freed. Don't even think about it. You just couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut, could you? Had to tell her everything. You sold me out for a chest of gold. They're just words, Beska. They can't make you bleed. It was my secret to share. You don't know shit. I know you're the toughest person I've ever fought alongside. Your past can't hurt you anymore. Move on. We still have soldiers to fight. <sighs> the little queen is right. Marine holds plenty of killers. And I know the worst. So what are we waiting for? Let's go get them. I don't know, Asher. They're not like us. To them, killing is a sport. It's fun. Let them have fun with the White Hills, then. As long as they kill them, I don't care. Don't say I didn't warn you. I must talk further with the Queen. Don't get yourselves killed. So, where exactly are we going? Now, well, these fighters used to be slaves. If I had to guess, I'd say they'll be trying to live like masters. It's getting worse, isn't it? But we're only about a few days out from the Antler River. We cross a bridge the first men built. And from there, we can try to find the North Grove. Uh, right, Sylvie? We're not going north. We're going south to join Mance and the rest of the Free Folk. But look... That was always the plan, Cotter. I have to go to the North Grove. My family's depending on it. <laughs> Your family needs you to wander around in the snow until you get eaten by a direwolf. Please, Sylvie. He knows what he's doing. Does he now? Tell me then. How did my brother get that gash in his arm? What does that have to do with the- Hush, Cotter! 
I'm asking Fishface here. Sylvie! Don't Sylvie me. I want to hear it from him. Some wildlings. Uh, free folk. Uh, Mr. Cotter for a crow. I can't imagine why. We tried to reason with them and, well, well, things got out of hand. Out of hand? From the look of him, he was nearly killed? Point is, you don't belong out here. Sylvie, I've known Gadid a while now. He may not be one of us, but I trust him. I've been waiting months for you, Cotter. And when you finally come home, it's with some crow who can barely build a fire. No, we don't need to die for him. Well, we've made it this far, haven't we? Getting here was the easy part. The further north you go, the more likely you'll never come back. It's just not worth it. Once Cotter's fit to travel, we head south. With or without you, Garrod. Sylvie. You need to rest. And we'll be wanting something to eat. I won't go far. Oh, don't be angry, Garrod. This isn't what it looks like. I can explain. Why'd you even bring me here, Cotter? You said you'd take me to the North Grove. Sylvie knows these woods better than I do. If anyone can find the North Grove, it's her. And besides, I couldn't just leave her. I won't do that. Not again. Then convince her to go with us. She's your sister. Well, maybe she's right. Maybe you don't belong up here. You don't mean that. So that's it. I can't head north without a guide. I go where she goes. I'm sorry, Garrett. I wonder if she's ever seen an ice spider. Whew. Hope not. I wonder why she doesn't wear it. Got it. So you really won't take me north? I want to help you, Garrod. I mean it. But I can't leave her behind. And besides, north of here, I'd be as lost as you. How's your arm feeling? Decent, I'd say. Why'd you ask? Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, it's shit. Why didn't you just tell me the truth? That you came here to find your sister? I wanted to. I didn't think you'd understand. I couldn't risk it. I'm sorry. 
You and your sister, you, uh... You don't look much alike. The white hair and... I know what you're getting at, so you may as well just say it. I, I just wondered. She was born like that. My mother used to call her Little Moon. The rest of our village thought she was a bad omen. The better of them stayed away from her. The worse? Let's just say I'm glad to be rid of them. Where's your mother now? Hard to say for sure. Probably dead. Our village decided Sylvie wasn't welcome there, and our mother... <laughs> she didn't want to leave. Why were they afraid of your sister? Same reason you southerners call us wildlings. Same reason you put up that wall to keep us out. People are arseholes. Your whole village just kicked you out. When Sylvie reached two years, they told my mother we weren't welcome anymore. <laughs> she wasn't welcome. I guess they all hoped she wouldn't survive long enough to get a name. <laughs> but she's tough, Sylvie. No way she wasn't going to make it. I'll be fine, Garrett. You don't have to keep looking at me like that. Oh, well, it's not so bad. Oh, this is that stuff Cotter was drinking.
Don't know why you'd want this around. Any louder? Sorry. Never met a crow before. Sorry I almost killed you. Might have done you a favor though. Plenty of things want to kill a crow up north. Giants, thens, shadow cats and ice spiders. And the White Walkers, of course. A spear sounds nice after all that, doesn't it? I'm not a crow anymore. I left that life behind me. Once a crow, always a crow. That's what they say, anyway. Don't frighten our dinner away. never any good with a bow. Know how to use that? You're not going to shoot me in the leg, are you? I may do all right. Just be sure to keep it aimed that way. That's better than making do. You're not a bad shot. You'll do nicely, little one. Would that be enough? <laughs> You've ever seen Cotter eat? We'll need another. Come on. Are you nervous? Maybe next time, Garrod. It's not much, but it'll last us. You're not half bad with a bow. Could come in handy. You ever lost anyone, Garrod? Someone you really cared about? Someone you... Thought you couldn't live without seeing ever again. Do you know what that's like? I lost my family. First my mother, then my sister and father. So you know how it feels. Cotter and I, we lost everything too. And we nearly lost each other. I didn't think he'd make it back this time. And I won't risk losing him again. Not even for the North Grove. You know something about it, don't you? Only what I've heard. But don't get your hopes up. It's not worth it. So it is real, then? I didn't say that. But it might be. A few years back, one of the Ice River clans set out to find it. They'd heard stories. That the cold couldn't touch it. That it's safe, even in the dark of winter. So they'd set out, all full of hope. And none of them ever returned. That won't happen to us, Sylvie. I was sent to find the North Grove. That doesn't mean that you'll... Help! Get back! 
This looks like the place. <laughs> this is definitely the place. So, who are we dealing with exactly? Pit fighters. Two go in, one comes out. Day after day. No rules, but kill. Anyone who can survive that is capable of anything. They're crazed savages. But one pit fighter is worth any ten cell swords. If you can convince them to fight for you. And that's not going to be easy. Don't expect to charm them or reason with them. If we're very lucky, we'll walk out with our heads. You were a pit fighter. If they're anything like you, we'll be just fine. Understand, they are nothing like me. These aren't soldiers. They're animals you unleash. <laughs> You did what? What the fuck? Trust me, you don't want to get involved, Dasha. Oh, one last thing. They're not fond of strangers. Or anyone who shows weakness. Or fear. Or really any highborn pricks with lily white asses like you, little brother. Maybe they should see a familiar face first. <sighs> if they don't like us coming here uninvited, it will hardly matter who they see first. Well, if it isn't Beska, the fucking basilisk. We just want to talk to Amaya. You can. But not this one hiding behind your skirt. You've got to the count of three to turn around and walk away. One. Two. You're scary, fat man. Good thing I'm looking for scary. I need fighters like you. Hear that? This little man wants us to fight his battles for him. We do what Amaya says. You talk to her. Well, good, because that's exactly what... Hey! Hey! Whoa! 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 want something pretty bad to risk coming in here. So, out with it. Before I decide not to let you leave. My name is Asher Forrester, and I've traveled all the way from Westeros. I'd suggest you go back there. It's not safe here for outsiders. Amaya, please! Please what? I had a friend once, the Basilisk, but she died a long time ago. I earned my freedom! You walked out on me. On all of us. Fighting side by side, we were goddesses of the pits. But when you're born trash, I guess you can't help going back to the gutter. Leave her alone! I don't care what your history is. Beska's the most loyal friend I've ever had. 
So, what is it that you want? Why shouldn't we rip you to pieces and feed you to the beast? <laughs> My patience wears thin. My enemies mean to butcher my family in Westeros. They killed my father. They killed my little brother. And now I need great warriors to help me avenge their deaths and reclaim my home. You think we sell swords? We don't fight other people's wars. We are pit fighters. Artists who paint in blood. That was yesterday. The fighting pits have been closed. You're all free now. Free to do what you want. Don't you see that? Yes, we are free. Why would we follow another? We don't have masters anymore. Why would we follow anyone ever again? I'll make you all rich. Your masters, they used you. They made gold from your blood. But I am offering you a chance to earn for yourselves. Amaya, trust me. He's got enough gold for all of you. You want to lead pit fighters? You have to earn their respect first. We don't know who you are until we see you bleed. You're gonna have to show them you can fight. All right. Who? Oh. Who's the best you've got? His name is Bloodsong. He's vicious, fearless, and fast. I've never seen him before. Take a good look there. And if I beat him, you and your men will join me in my fight. If you can beat Bloodsong, you'll gain our respect. But no one has ever beat him. Hmm. Right. Well, suppose I better get this over with. So what are you supposed to be? With your little axe and your pretty blonde beard? I'd sooner bend you over to fuck than fight you. Thanks for noticing the beard. <laughs> well, come on! Let's see how you die! If I die in there... Yeah? You have a dying wish? This ought to be good. Will you return to Westeros and kill as many White Hills as you can? No. I'll spend all your gold on the finest of whores. Hey! I need those! You'll fight with the weapons we give you. This cockless Westerose, he's come to order us to battle, like our masters did. I kill no man because another orders me to. I kill a man because it pleases me. Let me show you how we dance in Marine. You fight dirty. I like that. Choose a weapon and try not to die. Only one of you leaves the pit alive. May the best fighter win! The best would be me! Here, use this! Ready? Westerosi? This is gonna hurt! Yours would be a beautiful death! Isn't that something you'd like to say? Hear that, boy? We cannot let the crowd go wanting! I think I can, actually. Uh, uh, uh. 
For that, you die slow. That's no weapon worthy of blood song. Take this guitar. <laughs> Would it help if I stood still? Maybe. Come on, pretty boy. Son of a whore! Last chance. See if you're still smiling after I break your face! Surprised you can lift it! Stupid rules. Your old champion is gone. As are your old masters. You can stay here in Marine with nothing, or you can come with me. I chose you for a reason! You're true warriors! Warriors I admire and respect! You deserve better than this! You deserve more than to die for someone else's entertainment! Fight with me and you will have glory and gold! If you've got the balls to follow me, we will set sail at dawn! And to those too craven to join me, to hell with you! <laughs> 